guys, it's Abby, and I'm just making a quick video to share a very special message that I shared with the girls last week. As I was doing this lesson, I felt myself getting ministered right then and there. I just feel really compelled to share it with y'all. Basically, God gave us a recipe exactly like a chocolate chip cookie. He gave us a recipe for restoration, restoration of our minds, our spirits, our souls, and our relationship with God. In 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verses 11 through 16, God is talking to Solomon. So Solomon had just finished building a temple and even God said it was a great place to hang out. People had been worshiping there for weeks. They were so on fire for God. And just kind of think of it when you first get out of that camp retreat that you went, that you just spent an awesome intimate time with God. You're just on fire. You just want to do everything for God and you just want to go all in for him. This is kind of how they were experiencing those feelings about God as well. God had moved in amazing ways for them and people were stoked to follow him but because he is god and knew people would eventually mess up again he gave solomon a three pretty simple instruction recipe for being restored to god if and when things get bad so god loves us so much he knows us so well and knows yeah they're probably gonna mess up so let me give them this recipe for when that happens they can they got it under control and they can get their chocolate chip cookies you know so i'm gonna I'm go over three quick points point number one is that god has a three-point plan for restoration so this is what we just been talking about it you know he gives us instructions if we follow these instructions we can get restored and renewed but we have to be willing to follow them we can't just do two out of the three things we have to do. We can't. Otherwise, we're going to have chocolate chip cookies without chocolate chips. We need to follow them really, really precisely. The recipe consists of three small steps. The step number one is probably the hardest, especially if we have a lot of pride. Step number one is humble themselves. It means we have to humble. There's always a measure of humility that comes in admitting we messed up. It's hard to say we were wrong and just take all the blame ourselves. But it is the first step in God's process of restoration. We have to become humble, admit our sins and faults, and recognize we can't fix them on our own. And that's 100% true. How many people have we damaged with our words? How many people have we broken down with our words? How many situations do we justify ourselves to get out of them? That is not being humble. That is just making excuses for our actions. That's not what God wants. God wants us to recognize that what we're doing is not okay. He wants us to recognize our wrongs and admit them to him and let him know, thank God I, I wasn't humble. I was really prideful, arrogant, and I didn't like the way I was. And literally, he just wants us to recognize when we do wrong. Step number two is pray and seek my face. After you humble yourself, now you have to seek the Lord. Now you have to tell him, okay, Lord, I was, I'm sorry I was this way. Now, let me talk to you more. Let me build that relationship with you. Let me worship you. That's what it means, spending time with God, spending time with the Lord. Only the supernatural work of God can redeem us from our sin and our mess. Lift us up out of the muck and mire we've created. That's why we must talk honestly with God and seek out his plan to us. Step number one asks us to be humble. And by being humble, we have to be honest with ourselves. But step number two is pray and seek my face. When we're praying, it's, we must be honest with God about who we are. Although he already knows who we are, we still have to be honest and let him know, God, I messed up. I'm sorry. And these are the areas that I messed up on. God wants us to confess our sins. Step number three is turn from wicked ways. Repentance is a pretty important key to making things right with God. It's the capstone of restoration process. So this is it. Repent means essentially to turn around and go the opposite direction. And we've been prideful, arrogant, and following our own way, doing our own thing, turn away from wicked ways. No longer go back and back and back, making the same mistake over and over and again. Where's the growth and constantly falling in the same mistake over and over? So you have to do a complete 180 and turn away from that and then turn to God to be fully restored. That's why it's the cap. That's why it's the perfect ending of this recipe, this three-part recipe. 
So the three steps are very, very simple, but also very hard. There's a lot of honesty, a lot of perseverance, and a lot of seeking God. But you know what? Seeking God isn't like, oh, I'm going to go pray for an hour. I mean, that's great. But talking to him while you are driving, talking to him while you're having a nightmare, talking to him while you're walking, recognizing that he's there present because trust me, the Lord is present at every time. Recognizing that he's there and making him a part of your day every single day would make it way easy. Well, remember, three part recipe. Number one, humble yourself. Number two, pray and seek his face. Number three, turn from wicked ways. That's the only way that your heart will be restored. Otherwise, you're going to carry hurt and pain from years ago in your heart that you haven't let go. And that's only going to cripple you from experiencing true love, from experiencing God's love. I love this recipe and I hope y'all love this recipe as well. It really spoke volumes to my life and I hope it speaks volumes to y'all's life. So, Thank you so much for coming and watching this video and taking the time to listen. God bless y'all. And I just need y'all to know that God is with you at all times. Y me nada mejor que ser cristiano.